Hello there and welcome to Level 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper D. Here we're working on question 12. So question 12 asks us to find the value of P and Q given that f of 5 equals 0 and f of minus 3 equals 8. So plugging 5 into the function, we're going to get uh, 125 from the x cubed, uh, 25 from the x squared, plus 5p plus q equals 0, because that's what it has on the end of the function here. And f of minus 3, that's going to equal minus 27, plus 9 from the minus 3 squared, minus 3p, add on the q, and that will equal 8 from the end of that expression there. So what I'll do with both of these, I'll make q the subject and set the equations equal to each other. So um, take away the 5p on the other side, take away 150 on the other side, and what are we going to get here? We're going to get minus 26 and plus 3p. So setting the two things equal to each other, minus 5p minus 150 equals 3p minus 26. So adding the 5p onto the other side, you get my 8p, adding the 26 onto the other side, and you get... Um, is it minus 26? No, it's going to be plus 26 over here once you've added it onto the other side. Isn't it? So you add that there, take it away onto the other side, and you get minus 176. Divide through by 8, and you get p is minus 22. And then plugging that back into one of these equations at the top here, q, I'll set it, I'll do this one here. So it would be 3 times q, it's minus 66, add 26, you'll get minus 40. Okay, so those are your two values for P and Q. Part B is going to be X cubed plus X squared plus uh, minus 22X minus 40. So there's obviously an option on the calculator button to solve this polynomial here, and hence you will factorise it completely if you set this equal to zero. Um, but we're going to have to think of some strategy to uh, factorize this on our own. So we first know that f of 5 is equal to 0, so that's our first clue. So I'm going to divide this polynomial by x minus 5. So x minus 5, and then we need something in this bracket here. So I'm going to use the uh, grid method for this. So I'll set out my grid, and it's going to be x and a minus 5 down here. All these terms need to fit inside these uh, boxes here, and my answer is going to appear on the top here. This is where my answer goes. So x times something will give me an x cubed we start off with first. So that's obviously going to be an x squared. Then I'll get minus 5x squared. If I expand out the bracket, you can see that if I was to put it there, I'd have minus 5x squared. But I don't want minus 5x squared, I want positive x squared, so I need to add back on 6x squared. So therefore I'm going to have plus 6x, so in my answer here I'm going to get a plus 6x. Uh, but when I do that and I expand the brackets with the minus 5 here, I'm going to get minus 30x. But I don't want minus 30x, I want minus 22x, so I need to add on another 8x, so therefore I'll need to add on an 8 here. And that times that will give me minus 40 at the end. So I need to plus 18 here. And that will give me the minus 40 at the end, just as I wanted. OK, factorise the last bracket now. So it's x minus 5. And hopefully we can spot the next two. x plus 2, x plus 4. And that's the final answer to this question. That's f of x completely factorised. 12 marks.